guys, what's up? Welcome back to the start of another weekly writing vlog. So it is uh, pretty late. It's Monday night. It's almost 10. I just got out of the shower. I normally don't take a shower before bed or like at nighttime. I like to take my showers in the morning, like right when I first wake up. Um, but I just wanted to take one before I go to bed. Um, just because to relax a little bit, you know. I love taking showers, by the way. Like, I don't think I've ever expressed this, but if I could be in the shower every minute of the day, I would. I absolutely love it. Um, also, sorry if you can hear my air conditioning in the back. I'm trying to cool down my room before I go to bed, so that way I don't have to have it running overnight, because I really don't like to do that. Anyway, you're here about books and reading and uh, the assortment of entertainment things. So, I wanted to come on and kind of update everyone where I was, because I've made some more progress in the things I was reading since the end of my last vlog, which I recorded yesterday afternoon, so like Sunday afternoon. So it's Monday night now. So let's jump in. So The Black Witch by Lori Forrest, my kind of physical read. I am currently on page, I think 170? Yeah, one, mm, yeah, like around 170, somewhere around there. And like just into the start of part two. Um, and like I said, I didn't really have any more thoughts um, other than what I said in my last vlog, but if you managed to miss that one or you just didn't watch it or whatever or this is your first vlog this is my first vlog that you're watching this book follows the story of a girl named oh, what is her name i always forget it um ella orin ella ellorin ellorin i think that's how you say it i don't know i've actually never said it out loud i've always kind of said it in my mind ellorin 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 I'm just going to keep saying it over and over again. I think that's how you say it. So this follows our main character, Aloran, who is part of this world where men kind of have a lot of the power, and it's a fantasy world. It's why a fantasy. I should start out that. And men have a lot of the power, and she is a young girl who's starting to go to a university, which is, like, a big deal. Um, and basically, her grandmother was a really famous witch called the Black Witch who defeated these demons um, a few years ago prior to the, or actually kind of a while to the start of the book. Um, I'm doing a really bad job of explaining this. Basically, that's all you really need to know. It's a YA fantasy about this girl whose grandmother was this really famous witch, and she thinks that she doesn't have any powers, but it turns out that she probably is actually the Black Witch and has the powers. Um, that's, you know, kind of the start of this book. Um, and if you missed my last vlog, I talked about a lot of the discussion that this book was having in it already, mainly about race and class and gender. Um, and while I like that the book is tackling that for a YA fantasy, I think it's a, done a little sloppily. Um, and that those thoughts haven't really changed. I think that the men are very misog misogynistic um, and I think they're supposed to be that way, but it's still kind of annoying to read that, especially because I think one of the characters we're supposed to like and want to root for, maybe, possibly. I haven't actually, I don't know yet, um, but I don't like him and I don't want to root for him. <laughs> so that's that. That's kind of my thoughts right now at the start of this vlog for The Black Witch. Hopefully I finish this by the end of the week. Um, I have plans to. I plan on reading it some every day to finish it. It's kind of longer, like I said in my last vlog as well. Um, it is exactly, that is the start of the second one. Hold on, I'm really bad at doing this. Um, these are the acknowledgements. It is 637 pages, so it's kind of a thick one. Um, so I have about 500 pages left to go in this. Moving on. My ebook, I am currently still reading Red, White, and Royal Blue. I think I am 58% of the way through this, so just over halfway. I'm still loving it. I still love this one. Um, I think you probably all know what this is about. It's about um, Alex, who is the son of the first female president. It's in an alternative uh, world where a woman won the 2016 presidential election, and it's following the son who discovers he is possibly not straight, and he starts to fall for the fictional um, Prince of England. And they, originally they don't like each other and they kind of butt heads and then they're forced to hang out um, to kind of prevent American England from having issues. And then, you know, they start to form a friendship and then it goes from there into maybe more of a romantic kind of territory and they start ex 
excuse me, I just burped. I'm so sorry. Um, they start exploring more of their um, thoughts and who they really are and stuff like that. It's super cute, super fun, funny. I like it a lot. Um, like I said, Alex can be kind of annoying and that's definitely not true, but I also just think that, like I said in my last vlog as well, I don't like being in one person's head because I kind of get sick of them. I'm discovering that about myself while reading. So yeah, that's kind of where I am with that. And then my audiobook, what I'm listening to. So I'm listening to In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. I did start this. I'm only in chapter two or three. Um, honestly, the beginning was kind of confusing and I was a little bit lost. So hopefully I can catch more on as the book goes and be prepared and actually know what's happening and going on. Uh, if not, then I might end up not liking this one. But uh, if you don't know, I do plan on kind of binge reading Ruth Ware's books um, on audiobook at least from my library. So that should be really fun. Once I'm just to give you kind of an update, once I'm done with that, I'm actually going to be hopping into uh, either The Couple Next Door or An Unwanted Guest by Sherry LaPena. Uh, in my last vlog, I also read A Stranger in the House by Sherry Lepeño. wasn't my favorite, but I am also going to be reading her two other works because um, I think those are probably, I think people like those more, I think, possibly, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my plans and what you can expect to be getting updates on me from for the majority of this vlog. So thank you for tuning in and watching. I hope you stay along and see what my thoughts are on all of these. And yeah, I will talk to you in my next update. Thanks and bye. Hey guys, what's up? So it's been a couple days since I talked to you last. Um, today is Saturday and I think the last time I talked to you was maybe Monday or Tuesday. Um, and the reason for that is just because I haven't been reading much this week. Um, I've listened to a little bit of my audiobook of In a Dark Dark Wood. I've read a little bit of, um, what is it? Red, White, and Royal Blue. Read a little bit of The Black Witch, but not much men like a lot of progress in any one of those things um and that's just because like life has been busy this week i've had other stuff going on and so i just haven't been spending my time reading a lot um i've been spending it having to do other things um but today is saturday like i said and i definitely absolutely want to get done um in a dark dark wood by ruth ware i'm about halfway through it so i think it'll only be about two-ish more hours for me to listen to it so i can do that today while i'm doing you know morning stuff um but i'm just really also not enjoying it i thought about dnfing this book but you know i really want to finish it and push through it i don't want to dnf any books this year which i know is like stupid and i only dnf like one book last year and i think i said like oh like I have freedom to start DNFing books, but I just don't want to, um, especially because I want to read all of Ruth Ware's books like all the way through and see what I think of them. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's all I really have. I guess I'll update you later on today when I finish the when I finish In a Dark Dark Wood and if I have any other kind of reading updates to update you on. So yeah, I will talk to you in the next clip. Hey guys, so I'm back later in the day as promised, and I have finished. Um, what was the book I was reading? In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. Um, overall I'm gonna give this book two stars. I really did not enjoy it. Um, I thought that the main character was really whiny and the whole motive and reasoning behind the whole mystery was stupid and dumb and just overall I thought the plot was boring and the writing was not very imaginative or even like I'm not gonna say it wasn't good because like it was published which I guess that's saying, you know, not all published things are always good, but, you know, I just thought the writing was really simple and not very imaginative, like I said. Um, but this was her first book. Um, obviously, she used the line or along the lines of, I released a breath I didn't know I was holding at least twice in this book. So she's lucky she's getting two stars for me because I think collectively as a book community, we all freaking hate those lines because they're stupid. Anyway, um, that's kind of my overall feelings on it. I am excited to check out more of Ruth Ware's work in the future. I'm going to be putting her next book um, on hold from the library, which I believe is her, the next published one is The Woman in Cabin 10. I believe that's the next one. And then The Lion Game and then The Death of Mrs. Westway. So I'm excited. Um, yeah, I also, you know, I'm still in the middle of 
Black Witch. It's right here by Lori Forrest and Red, White, and Royal Blue. So hopefully I'll be finishing those over the next few days. Um, honestly, I probably won't be finishing this over the next few days. I don't know when I'm going to be finishing this, but I'll finish it eventually. Um, the next audiobooks that I'm going to be jumping into, I'll be jumping into... Um, freak, what is it called? It's Sherry Lapinas because I have her next two books from my library. The Neighbor one. The Good Neighbor? Is that what it's called? I know the other one is an unwanted guest, but I'm going to be reading The Good Neighbor. I don't know. The picture is here. The Good Neighbor, I think. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to be reading that one or listening to that one on audiobook next um, and then jumping into An Unwanted Guest. So yeah, that's kind of my plans for audiobook listening and physically reading. And the rest of the night, I'm just chilling. I currently restarted watching season five of The Amazing Race just because um, I wanted it, you know, on. I might play Final Fantasy more later. I was playing it this morning. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to make dinner later, so that will be fun. Um, I'm currently uploading my mid-year tag video. It's currently uploading, so um, hopefully by, well, when you see this, that video will already be up there, so go ahead and check that one out. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching this clip, and I will talk to you tomorrow with another update. So thank you, and bye. Hey guys, what is up? I hope you're all doing well. So it is Sunday now, and I'm back with a reading update. Um, so as promised, I finished The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina. I don't know why I could not think of the title yesterday when I was trying to say it. It was like saying The Good Neighbor or something like that. That's literally not it at all. It's The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina. Um, and I listened to this on audiobook literally all morning. I just finished it a few hours ago at like 1-ish in the afternoon. It's like 3.30 now, I think. I don't even know. What? what is it? Yeah, 3.32. So I think overall I gave, or I'm going to give this book three stars. Um, in general, my thoughts were that the characters were super, super unlikable. I did not really like any of them. The only character that I did actually like was Marco. Um, and if you've read this book, I think you'll think that that's interesting. And all of the other characters I found incessantly like whiny and annoying and just kind of not believable. I didn't understand some of like the actions of some characters and it just felt like rich people problems, which is like, I feel like rude to say, but like that's, it just came off of to me as like people with money who are like complaining about money and while that's not what it is, that's just kind of what I was thinking about. And in general, like, I once again thought the plot was, like, kind of boring. Like, there was nothing... I think there was only, like, one moment that kind of surprised me. Um, and there was, like, a bunch of little plot threads that were thrown in there to be, like, little mysteries to be unraveled. And I didn't find any of them that interesting or making me want to keep going or read more. Yeah, just overall, it was just, okay, so three stars. Um, it was, but I did like it more than A Stranger in the House or A Stranger in, what is, what is that one called? I have been so, I don't know what it is with me lately. I've been so bad at remembering book titles. It's like ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I liked it better than the other Sherry Lapina book that I just read last week. So, you know, that's... That's that on that. Um, I do have one more Sherry Lapina book to read, and Unwanted Guest is the last one that I will be picking up by her, and then I will have completed Sherry Lapina's published works, as far as I'm concerned, unless she has other ones. I don't think she does. I think she just has three, but I'll have to actually double check on that. Yeah, that's kind of it. That's all I have for this update right now. Um, I might read later, but I'm not going to record later, so this is the only update you're getting from me today, and I'll probably have one more tomorrow. Um, and yeah, that's all I really have. Thank you for watching this clip. Um, let me know your thoughts on Sherry Lopinia, Couple Next Door, if you've read it, or Her Stranger in the House, or really anything, or if you've read and I want to guess, what, tell me what you think I might think of it. 
yeah, that's all I really have right now. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Maple, look at the camera. No bites. Look at the camera. Look. Look, it's you, Maple. Maple, just look. Ow, bitch. What the fuck? What? Look. Do you see yourself yet? No bites. What a bitch. Hey guys, welcome back. Please excuse my messy hair. I just got home from work and I was wearing my hat and I was, oh god, I was sweating. I'm about to hop in the shower, but I just wanted to sit down and film this clip really quickly. Um, this is just kind of a wrap up clip to say thanks for watching. Um, small update, I started reading or listening to an unwanted guest, Richard Lopina, on audiobook. I'm about an hour and a half into it now. Um, and so far, I'm really enjoying it. I, it's, um, what's the word? Like a cozy mystery, I think. It really is reminding me, or not that I've read it before. I've wanted to read it, but, um, and then there were none by Agatha Christie, like a bunch of people in one area. And then I they believe one person gets murdered and like, they just start to like be knocked off one by one until like, you know, the last few are left and the killer is revealed, which I absolutely love. One of my favorite things in books and TV shows is like a, specific set of characters in one location where they can't really get out and no one else can really get in. I absolutely love that. I'm in TV, I'm pretty sure it's called like the bottle episode where there's like one central location with like a few characters. I really love that kind of book and setting in TV, movies, shows, whatever. Um, I just think it's, you know, characters interacting and you get to really see kind of just the interaction and the character motivations and the character thoughts and feelings and all of that kind of fun stuff that goes along with it, which is what I personally really enjoy as long as with like interesting plot developments that usually happen in those kinds of settings. Um, but anyway, I'm reading An Unwanted Guest, which is that kind of story, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I'm excited to finish it and we'll read more of it and then finish it hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Um, probably tomorrow I can listen to it at work while I'm doing just, you know, stuff. So that should be um, a lot of fun. Yeah, but other than that, I'm just gonna go shower and chill for the rest of the night. I need to make some food because I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, that's all I really have. Thank you so much for watching this reading vlog. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Um, please let me know any thoughts that you have below about anything really. And sorry I haven't been reading um, Red, White, and Royal Blue or The Black Witch much. Um, I'm just, you know, kind of in a s s place where I'm just like, I don't feel like picking it up and I'm not going to force myself to, which kind of sucks because, you know, I want to finish them because I was liking them. I was enjoying what was happening. But, you know, my reading has just been so weird this year and I've just been in a weird reading mood lately like kind of feeling slumpy. That's why audiobooks have been really great because I can just pop them in and I can do other stuff. I don't have to actually sit down and physically take the time to read the words on the page. Um, yeah, and it, it kind of, I'm kind of feeling still slumpy and in that and I was trying to force myself to get out of it, but I just don't think it's the right time right now. So hopefully next week I can get out of that slump area and really start to get into some more physical readings. It's what I do want for myself. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Hey guys, so I know I'm back even though I said at the end of the last clip that that was the end of the reading vlog, but I ended up finishing An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lopina like right after that or like the next morning and I haven't started a new weekly reading vlog yet. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and talk about it at the end of this one instead of waiting till the start of a new whole one because I don't know when that will be necessarily. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it. So I ended up finishing this book on audiobook. Um, I think I explained what it's about, but basically it's kind of like a cozy mystery. There is this group of people who go up to this hotel um, in, I think it was New York. Um, I don't remember exact the exact like location, but it's this really isolated, excluded hotel. And it's during the winter and they end up getting trapped there during a winter storm and they lose all power in the hotel and then someone ends up dead. And then that kind of starts this whole murder mystery plot of someone is trying to kill off all these people. They're staying at the hotel and it's one of the guests. So like, who is it? How are they doing this? Why are they doing this? 
all of that. And um, I loved it. I gave it 4.5 stars in total and I loved the whole way. The only reason I gave it 4.5 stars is because I was a little disappointed by the ending and kind of the reveal of who the killer actually was. Um, initially, I was more kind of down on it and I thought I was going to give it four stars and then kind of the very, very end. And then the more I thought about it, I decided on 4.5 stars. Um, but I was really upset and it's kind of my own fault because I really, really wanted something very specific to happen and then it didn't happen. So I kind of set my expectations up too high and I just were setting them up to be disappointed. Also, sorry to interrupt my own thoughts, but why is my cheeks so flush and hot right now? You know, it's really hot in my room and I don't have my air on. So that's probably why. And also you can see this weird shadow of the sun or reflection of the sun on my forehead and it looks like I'm sweating, but I swear I'm not. Definitely gonna turn the air on after I've done this clip. But um, yeah, I set myself up for something that I really wanted to happen and then it didn't happen. So I was slightly disappointed, but I thought all in all the reveal of who the killer was was good and the motivations I, I understood, but also I maybe I should go back, but I feel like the groundwork wasn't laid throughout the novel for the ending to make like that much sense, but, and I'm talking about like characterization, kind of that sense, not the actual how it was done and like the plot points that were laid out. I thought those were fine, but kind of the whole characterization and how people were characterized and then who ended up being the killer. Um, I'm trying to be vague so I don't spoil anything. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. This is by far my favorite and best Sherry LaPena book that I did read. Um, I gave it 4.5 stars, like I said, twice now. And I definitely recommend this one over her other two books. Um, in total, though, for Sherry LaPena, I think her books were readable, super fast-paced. Um, I think she does character feelings and emotions really well. Um, at least as far as in uh, Wanted Guests, I feel like I had a problem with that in A Stranger in the House. But in The Couple Next Door, um, all of the characters were like super unlikable um, and they weren't supposed to be. I think An Unwanted Guest is by far her best work, for sure. Um, I thought the characters were pretty fleshed out. I knew everyone. You're following a bunch of different people. Like, you're not just in one person's head the entire book. You're in, like, I think, like, eight people's heads. I don't even know. It was a lot, but it all flowed really nicely, and the transition between POVs and everything like that was really good. Um, so I'm definitely excited to see what she comes out with in the future. Um, I'm definitely going to read it and see if I like it just as much. But yeah, that's kind of it for real this time on this reading vlog. I'm not sure exactly when this is going to be up, but sometime soon, hopefully. Um, and like I said, I haven't started a new one. I don't think I'm going to start a new one for a while. I was kind of in this weird place where like I was starting ones on like Mondays and Tuesdays and like ending them on Sundays and then like uploading them on Monday and Tuesday. Um, but then I just want to try to get back like onto a schedule of like every Sunday um, or maybe like every other Sunday. I don't really know. I think I might start doing bi-weekly. I don't know because bi-weekly reading vlogs I feel like are too long of like a time for me to be vlogging but I also suck at vlogging so like a week sometimes I feel like I don't record a section for like two three four days and I have no footage so you know it's it's an up and down it's a balance it's all a learning process um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you next time bye